All right, what is up YouTube? Long time no see. I know I look a little different. So I just wanna go ahead and explain and give you guys an update on what's going on with me. So I went ahead and I got a hair transplant. So that's why I had to cut my hair off. Um, I'll just let you guys see how it looks. They restored my frontal hairline on both sides. If you guys can see, turn to the left, turn to the right. Um, honestly, I've been procrastinating this video for a minute because I wanted to get on here with a fresh cut and show you guys how it would look. But unfortunately, I've just been waiting too long. So I'm just like, let me just do the video and show you guys how it looks. Um, this part is the transplanted area right here. And it's a little bit thinner, you can see. Um, and then the rest of my hair is my hair. And um, it's, it grow, it's growing a little bit faster than, than this part. This part is gonna take the doctor said about nine to 12 months to fully come in. But as you can see, it's pretty, you know, it's coming in pretty nicely. I'm actually very happy with um, the, the results so far. Um, yeah, so you can see, you guys can see I got the, um, the, the whole hairline thing going on. Um, okay, so why did I get the hair procedure or hairline transplant? Um, I got it just because I'm in the entertainment industry and our looks are very important um, in the jobs we get and stuff like that. So I just wanted to get my, I'm not even making sense right now. I'm in the entertainment industry and looks are very important. So that's why I wanted to do anything that I could to just look my best. Um, not saying that a hairline makes you look your best. Um, that's just my opinion. I, I you know, I, I've always been into hair, like it's a part of black culture. Um, so I wanted to do everything I could to have a full head of hair. Um, I'm not like attached to my hair or anything. I, I kind of like, I kind of came to the conclusion, like if this hair procedure doesn't work out, um, I'm just going to go bald. Like I'm totally okay with that. It's just hair. It's, it's not... It's really not that big a deal. Um, you know, it is what it is. Like, these were the genes that I was given. But I, I, in the back of my mind, I just wanted to do everything that I could. Um, and then if it doesn't work out, then it just doesn't work out. But for right now, I'm very happy with the, um, the results so far. This is um, about four, four, four or five months in, uh, which I'll get to that later. Um, where did I get the hair transplant? I got the hair transplant at Hair Restoration Specialists of Atlanta, HRS Atlanta. Um, you can Google them, uh, Google it, and they'll come up. Uh, I had a, I'm, I'm very pleased with what they did. Um, I would recommend them to people. Um, when did I get the hair transplant? I got the hair transplant on June 4th of 2020, this year, so about five months ago. And um, this is the, uh, the five month um, progression. Uh, it actually looks better. So when, I f when, I'm, when my hair is like freshly washed, it looks really, like it doesn't look this, uh, you know, it, right now it's kind of noticeable. Um, but when I wash my hair and it's freshly washed, like it kind of blends in a little bit better. So if I'm going out or something, um, I will definitely do that. It's gotten, it's gotten to the point where like, I can actually go outside without a do-rag because for the first two months, maybe three, I was just wearing straight up do-rags, hats. Um, just because like it was still scabbing and it was, the wounds were still healing and stuff like that. And it was very like patchy. So, and it's still kind of patchy, but it's at least to the point where I, I don't care about how I, you know, I go out to Publix and go out with my friends just like this. You know, I have no shame in my game. Like, <laughs> it's, it is what it is. Um, how much did the hair transplant cost? The hair transplant cost me $7,000. Um, I got about 2,000 grafts done. Gaffs, grafts, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, I did the FUE procedure. Um, there's two primary procedures. There's FUT, where they take the strips from the back, and then there's FUE, where they go like strand by strand. So um, HRS, they specialize in FUE. 
I don't know. I don't know if they do um, the other process. I just forgot that that quick what it was. But I know they specialize in FUE tra hair transplants. So if you're looking to get that done, I would go to them. If you're looking to get the FUT, that's what it is, FUT. If you're looking to get the FUT procedure done, I would go to someone else. Um, I don't know if they actually do it or not at HRS, but you can check with them. Um, anyways, back to the cost. So I paid seven thousand dollars. Um, I didn't pay it all at once. I financed it through care credit. Um, honestly, the only part of the process that I'm kind of unhappy with is the cost because I probably should have talked them down a little bit more. Um, honestly, I probably should have paid about 5000 for this procedure um, max. Um, I, I was just so excited uh, going into the process that I really didn't break down the cost of the procedure, like I didn't even try to negotiate. I just, that was the amount they gave me and I took it, um, which is my fault. You know, if if you're, um, if you decide to, to go through with this process, then definitely negotiate and try to get a really good, um, get the best price that you possibly can because you know, you're paying your hard earned money for it. But, uh, but yeah, I, I financed through Care Credit, 0% um, interest for two years. Um, so my payments are roughly like a little bit over $200 a month, so. It is what it is. I'll be paying that for two years. Um, but yeah, I have no complaints. Um, the only complications... Um, actually, you know what? I'll make a different video for that because this video is already getting pretty long. But yeah, guys, um, I got the hair transplant. I went to HRS Specialists of Atlanta. Um, I got it done June 4th, 2020. Um, and this is my hair. Um, oh, so I did get my hair cut. I got my hair cut. So I got my hair cut on the day of the procedure, like it was bald on June 4th. And then I got a haircut on September 21st on my birthday. Um, and I'll actually put in some pictures here so you guys can see um, and get a visual of what I'm talking about. So, so anyways, yeah, so this, I say all that to say, uh, this is about six, seven weeks of hair growth. Um, when I now when I did get my hair cut on September 21st, I did not touch the I told the barber not to touch this area. So he did act, he actually did not cut the um the transplanted area. He only cut my actual hair. So um so yeah, so this transplanted area is about 5 months worth of growth cuz wait, July, August, September, October, November. Yeah, 5 months. Sorry, I had to do the math in my head. But um yeah, you guys can ask me any questions. Um sorry if I'm kind of like long-winded. I'm hoping I'm I'm trying to be con as concise as possible with this information. Um but yeah, you guys leave some comments, ask some questions. I'll make a follow-up video um and try to answer you guys' questions, but um but yeah, just let me know what you guys think and like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.